Galilee, called Nazareth, to a girl named Mary. She was a young virgin, soon to be married to a man from the line of King David. He was himself not a king or a rich man. Joseph was a carpenter living in Nazareth. It was in the sixth month of the pregnancy of her cousin Elizabeth that the angel visited Mary and proclaimed that she was highly favored above all women and that she would be the mother of Jesus. Fear not, when hell you are highly favored, the Lord is with you, and you are blessed among women. Mary was troubled by the angel's words, and she wondered what they could mean. Fear not, Mary, you are favored by God. He has chosen you to be the mother of a son whose name shall be called Jesus. The Lord shall give him the throne of his father David. He shall reign um, over the people of God forever and of his kingdom. There shall be no end. How shall this be seen that I know not a man? The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and you and you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. The child shall be called the Son of God, and your cousin Elizabeth, who has, was barren, has conceived a son in her old age. This is the sixth month of her pregnancy. With God, nothing is impossible. Let it see as you have said. A servant of the Lord. Mary went to Judah and stayed with her cousin Elizabeth for the next three months. Mary! Joseph found out that Mary was going to have a baby. He was a just man and he did not want to make a public example of Mary. Joseph thought about secretly divorcing her. An angel appeared unto Joseph in a dream. <laughs> Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby is coming because of the Holy Ghost. The baby is going to be a boy, and you will call him Jesus. He shall save his people from their sins. Joseph knew her not until she brought forth the firstborn son. I'm sorry, but the end is full. Wait, I do have a place. It's not a proper place for a child to be born in, but it's all I have. And I have a stable you can stay in. We'll save you.
through the night. Suddenly, a great light began to shine on them, and they saw an angel of the Lord standing before them. The shepherds were afraid of the angel. Oh! Do not be afraid. I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be, all, which shall be to all people, for unto you is born this day, that in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ, the Lord, a sign shall be unto you, and you shall find, you shall find the babe wrapped in a swollen clothing, lying in a manger. praising God for what they had seen and heard. They told everyone they met about the angel, the baby, and everything they had just seen and heard. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah in the days of Herod, the king, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem. demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judah, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah? Out of you shall come a governor that shall rule my people of Israel. Bring me the wise men. Christ child. And when did the star appear? We don't know. <laughs> but he told the star this week. Go to Bethlehem. You find this child. And when you find him, bring me words so that I may worship him also. After the wise men departed from the king, they saw the star, which they had seen in the east. They rejoiced with exceeding great joy. It went before them until it came and stood over where the young child was. When they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. They presented unto him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
I have brought you gold. I have brought you sins. And I have man. The wise men were warned by God in a dream that they should not return to Herod. They departed into their own country another way. When they departed, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. The angel told Joseph to take the young child and his mother to Egypt because Herod will seek the child to destroy him. They were to remain there until he brings him word to return to Herod after he had died. When King Herod saw that he had been deceived by the wise men, he was very angry. He slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and all the coast thereof, and from two years old and under, according to the time which he had inquired of the wise men. When King Herod was dead, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Joseph came to Israel, but they did not remain there, because Herod's son re reigned in Judah. Joseph was warned in a dream by God to turn aside into a part of Galilee. They dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken of by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. The end.